Hi, it's Vex, and today we want to talk about my new commander deck. Um, a new commander from Commander 2020, Calamax, the Storm Sire. Uh, what Calamax does is whenever you cast your first instant spell each turn, if Calamax, the Storm Sire, is tapped, copy that spell, you may choose new targets for that copy. Whenever you copy an instant spell, put plus one, plus one counter on Calamax. So this is a really interesting commander as it you know, requires you to have a lot of instants, and sorceries, and it's very in interesting is that you, you're required to have it tapped. Uh, so this is basically a copy deck um, because it's on theme for Calamax and let's copy. So let's go through here. Um, before I go through each individual cards and all the cards in the deck, as I had right here, I'm gonna go over through uh, some cool combos. All right, we're gonna discuss one of two Rao combos. Uh, Rao has a static ability whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell. Rao Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. So the important part is this cast or copy. Copy is the main part. So the way you can do it is you have to play an initial spell to copy because you need to target something and copy, like Brainstorm. Right, so you have Rao on the board. You've cast your commander once um, and you have Brainstorm. On, on the stack. And then you have a card, Fury Storm. I know all the storms. When you cast this spell, copy it for each time you've cast your commander from the command zone in this game. You, you may choose new targets for the copies. So you have to have cast Calamax one time so you can essentially do Fury Storm twice. Uh, once for the copy and once for itself. And it has text, copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. So with Brainstorm on the stack, Rao on the board, Calamax cast once from the command zone. We're gonna play Fury Storm, and Fury Storm's caster is going to uh, trigger. So what we're gonna just pretend this is a Fury Storm cast trigger, and that will go on the stack. Fury Storm will still be on the stack targeting Brainstorm. This will resolve, um, and then you will, so you copy this, uh, put this on the stack targeting the Fury Storm. So when this resolves, this will become a copy of Fury Storm uh, with the text copy target instant sorcery spell, you may choose new targets for a copy, All right? So the copy will now go in the stack. So that's the Fury Storm trigger goes away and let's say this is the Fury Storm copy, goes on the stack um, targeting Fury Storm. Now when you copy Fury Storm, you're going to uh, target Fury Storm so that, so this will go off the stack and then the copy will go in the stack and again and again and again over and over again. The copy will essentially go back and forth on the stack and then Rao's trigger, every time that a copy happens, Rao's trigger will um, go in the stack and then you can ping the opponents to death. So it's an infinite loop. Another way to do the infinite loop without Fury Storm is to actually have two copy spells here. So what we can do is have um, Reverberate, which is you know essentially the Fury Storm part without the storm. Copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Um, copy brainstorm. Then you have an increase in vengeance, essentially the same. Um, copy reverberate. When this resolves, this will go off the stack, but then we'll put a copy of a reverberate on the stack. And then you do the same thing. Um, then reverberate, the copy of reverberate will resolve and put another copy of reverberate on the stack. And then you just do the same thing, infinitely ping your opponents to death. So that's the uh, row infinite combo line. There's other copy spells, you know, the deck that we'll go through. So the next combo is with Calamax on self. Let's pretend Rao doesn't exist, throw him away. Um, it doesn't matter if it's tapped or not, you can cast your spell, do the same copy effect right here. And because of Rao's second, oh, not Rao, sorry, Calamax's second ability, whenever you copy an instant or source spell, put plus one, plus one counter on Calamax. So essentially you infinitely copy your spell until, until you, you know, to end the loop, you would just want to copy your original brainstorm, your original spell to end the loop, the copy loop. Um, you'd make Calmax infinitely big um, and attack uh, for commander damage or lethal, it doesn't matter, it's so infinitely big. Um, a lot of people were wondering why they add that little trigger text. I mean, it may seem like a very innocent line and pretty cool to add plus one, plus one counters on Calmax whenever you copy, but it does go infinite. Uh, which is kind of crazy. You could uh, kill them. You can have a utility land. Let's say like a Kessick Wolf Run. 
to give it trample, you, you can make X zero. So pay one red, one green, tap this, give Calamax trample, and just one shot your opponents. So it's an infinite combo. Same way with Fury Storm or two copy spells. Uh, you don't need Calamax to copy itself because the problem is you need to have a spell on the stack to copy. And Calamax's ability is whenever you cast your first instant spell each turn. So even if Calamax is untapped, you cast Brainstorm, then tap Calamax, then you know, use only one copy spell. This second spell will not be copied because Brainstorm is your first instant spell. Uh, what you could do is cheat a little bit by using a sorcery spell. Um, tap Calamax, use a sorcery spell, then do the uh, single copy spell of that sorcery. And then this will be copied and then you do the copy loop. So that's another combo with Calamax there. The next coolest combo I got off of uh, EDH Rec is uh, this combo here. Quite requires quite a bit of cards, but you know, take infinite turns essentially. Um, so you need a way to tap Calamax to do some copying. Um, you need uh, the infinite turns. Uh, Nexus of Fate, I know it's very annoying in Historic and Standard and Stay, but that's how you do it because it's an instant uh, extra turn card, so it can be copied with Calamax. A way to get your uh, cards back. Uh, seasons passed. Uh, a way to tutor for the cards that you get back. Mystical Tutor, so you can tutor for both these cards. I'll show you how to actually make this work. And an instant card draw spell that does not cost one mana, so you can get it back with Seasons Past. Um, so the way this works is, let's say hypothetically, these both can be in your deck. Uh, that's fine. As long as you have Mystical Tutor and a way to draw. Um, so let's put these in your deck here. Uh, you tap Stingley's Drum, tap Calamax. Essentially, play Mystical Tutor. It gets copied. Uh, so you search for one item first. Next is a fate, right? Then uh, use your instant before the uh, second copy resolves. Instant card draw spell here. I say Metamorphose because it makes mana and draws a card. So do this, draw the card. And then the second copy of Mystical Tutor, copied by Calamax, will resolve. And essentially, you just search for Seasons Past. Put that in your hand. So these are in your hand. These are in your graveyard. This is Calamax. Uh, so you can do it on, on anybody's turn. This is, this is how you start the loop. Then we, this is a sorcery, so only, only do it on your turn. So what happens is you go to the next player's turn, cast Nexus of Fate. That's two free turns because this is their first uh, instant on a turn. So this goes back into your library. Then you go to your turn, play Seasons Path. Um, so you return these two cards to your hand and this will go in the bottom of your library. Here, you've only played a sorcery on your, your, your first turn. You've only played that sorcery. Um, so you haven't played an instant yet. No, oh, this is untapped during your turn. So now you can tap it. Here, do the same trick, Mystical Tutor, and then uh, Manamorphos between the two Mystical Tutors. This will be back in your yard. Again, this will be back in your hand. Remember, you have two extra turns, so then you take your next turn, you untap, you tap. Um, so you can either do Nexus of Fate or Seasons Pass. Um, let's do Seasons Pass. Put this back in your hand. It uh, doesn't copy anything. And then you take your second free turn. You tap Calamax again. You play Nexus of Fate. Take two more turns, continue the loop. So that's how you take infinite turns with Calamax. All right. Um, so let's go over the deck since you know I went through all the different combos that this uh, deck has. It's pretty neat. All right, I put all the cards back in the deck. So now we can go through all the individual card choices of the deck. Again, I have a link in the description below. So if you want to see the whole deck together, you have your commander, Calamax, our uh, combo player, Rao, even has the ability to copy spells. And they have you a bunch of spell copies, Fury Storm, Increasing Vengeance, Reverberate, Twin Cast, the expansion side of Expansion Explosion. Uh, so we just want to copy this, you know, theme of the deck is copying, Dual Caster Mage, uh, more copying. Double Visions. This is a new card from N21. 
First insert sorcery spell, you just turn copy that spell. Remember, Calmax only does instance. This one does instance and sorcery, so you just gotta make sure you, you keep track of like what's an instance and what's a sorcery. Twinning staff, extra copies. Um, if you copy a spell one or more times, cop, instead copy it that many times plus one, so it's kinda cool, extra copy. Um, Primal amulet, this is a cost reducer, um, but the cool part is the flip side. Uh, does copying. So, you know, I try to stay on theme, always want to copy things. Uh, that's how I like to build my ADH deck, is always trying to stay on, on a theme. So copying is a theme, so that's what I stay on. In order for Calamax to actually copy, we have some tappers. Um, besides attacking, Calamax could get big just by copying spells, but sometimes you want to just tap it. Paradise Mantle uh, equipment. Um, Spring Lace Drama, as I s showed you an example. And there's these two cool lands I produce colorless, and if you tap an untapped creature you control, you add one colorless mana to your mana pool. Same as Springleaf Drum, so these are lands. Um, I've got crop rotation in a deck, so you can crop rotate for it. And these are cool spells. Um, draw spells, so this is really cool if you copy it. As an additional cost to cast a spell, discard cards. But if you copy it, you do not pay this additional cost. So, uh, so there, there's these cards with downsides when you cast it the first time, but if you copy it, those downsides don't apply. So some of the draw card draw spells, throw a possibility, brainstorm, man morphles. It's really cool to copy this card because you you net mana and net cards. Some card draw, blue sun zenith. This is instant again, trying to stay on the instant theme. Uh, frantic search, chemistry's insight. So this is cool. This untaps three lands, so you can untap three lands twice with a copy. So you can make mana with frantic search. Kempster Insight, Factor Fiction, Dig Through Time. This is really cool. You would delve, you only pay for it once, you copy it twice. Uh, I really like this new card from Theros Beyond Death. Wave Break Hippocamp. When we cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. So we, we have instants, lots of instants, so we just want to draw cards with that. Some token generators, Tauran, Young Pyromancer. Some Graveyard Recursion, you know, Eternal Witness. Seasons Pass, that's part of our loop we demonstrated earlier. Snapcaster Mage, you know, again on the instant theme, you're casting a lot of instants, so you want to recast those from the yard. Trenchal Gearhawk, this is really cool, with the, you know, very expensive spells like Dig Through Time and such to uh, recast or counter spells. Mizzic's Mastery, again, this is copying, so from the graveyard. Crop Rotation, this is cool, this one has a downside of sacking land, um, except for when you copy it, you don't pay this downside twice. Search your library for a card. You could search for one of those cool lands that do tapping if you need to, or Kessick Wolf Run to kill the opponent. Mystical Tutor, part of our loop. Instant Speed, uh, X Spell, Multi Kicker, Comet Storm. So this is pretty cool. Electro Dominance, more Instant Speed spells. Nexus of Fate. Lightning Greaves, you know, gotta give your guy protection. Some removal spells here. Oops, sorry, let's put this over here. Some. Uh, Grab the rest of the deck here. Some removal spells. Pong, Pongify. Again, this is cool. Instant. Very cheap. Copy. Destroy things. Uh, I actually don't have this eight token. I know in my videos, I always uh, like to say, you always remember your token. So I just use the beast token instead. It's very hard to find this eight token. It's been printed once in a commander deck. Rapid hybridization. Same thing as Pongify. Blast in the deck. This is your board wipe. This is your only board wipe. So remember that. Um, if you need it, you can mystical tutor for it. Well, maybe this is a semi-board wipe. It doesn't kill the creature, but you know, it does some does better things. So, you know, the red chaos warp, beast within. Artifact mutations. This came with the pre-con. So it's pretty cool. I just used a bunch of cards from the pre-con, about like, you know, like 33 cards from the pre-con. Cross and grip, counter spell, narcissist reversal. Remember this also copies the spell that you're countering. Uh, or actually it doesn't even counter, just return uh, to hand. Swan Song, very cheap counter spell. Uh, I always love it, blue decks. Mystic Confluence, it's a counter spell. It's a bounce spell, draw spell, it does a lot of things. Again, instant. Deflecting Swat, this came in the uh, pre-con. Uh, cho choose new targets. And some ramp, Birds of Paradise, Bloom Tender, Brow. Browse a ramp because you know cost make things makes things cost one less. Dockside extortionist. Seed burn muse. Oh, this is an amazing ramp because you can untap um, all your permits, and essentially 
uh, copy things on each player's turn. Remember, you guys still tap Calamax on each turn because this thing untaps Calamax. Uh, so these are sorceries, sorcery ramp. Sometimes you can't do instant ramp that with uh, that efficient. So have some sorcery ramp. Natural connection. This is an instant ramp. So definitely want to try to have as many instances as possible. Another instant ramp is Harold right here. Kadama's Reach, Gross Bio. Well, we're on this reclamation. This is kind of like a seedborn muse, but only lands, not not artifacts. Some more artifact ramp. Let's go over the land package here, real quick. Um, you have the rainbow lands, pretty simple. The shock lands, the buddy lands, some utility lands. Some some of your copy spells are blue, blue, or red, red. So this helps filter that into the blue, blue, red, red. Another uh, filter land. Uh, since you're using a lot of big mana, as I said in that um, Seasons Pass loop, you need a lot of mana for that, actually. So there's some uh, uh, tap for two lands, scrying. Mix of Sanctuary, you always want you might want to put some um, instant back on top of your deck to help you out. Castle Growth Run, this is the way you kill them with your commander. And I always like to have one Graveyard Hate spell and Scavenger Grounds. Remember, you can crop rotate for this card and the basic lands. So I'm gonna put my deck back together, shuffle it up and uh, do some, do a sample uh, goldfish for you. All right, we'll be right back. Also, don't forget the tokens. I hate when people don't have tokens, so you should always have a token. This is Frog Lizard from Rapid Hybridization, Saplings, Treasures. So always have your tokens. I'm back. Deck's all been shuffled, so let's drop seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, cool. It's kind of sucky. Mystics Sanctuary is our land. Uh, I guess we're not really going to use it for its ability. We got Forest. Got a ramp spell. Got a second ramp spell. Two pieces of ramp. Copy spell. A tapper. Card draws. So we don't have a, like you know super powerful cards, but I think it'd be really good with Calamax. So let's start. First time I play Mystic Sanctuary for no value. Um, sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Cost of having a little tap land. I'll have to draw my first card. Oh, a signet. So I have choices here. Uh, next turn, draw my second card. Some more land. No problem there. I think it's better to do a natural um, nature's lore. It's sorcery, so it won't be copied. Um, and we got playing a ramp. So I'm not going to use a copy spell on a ramp spell. So let's do this. Tap this. Use a nature's lore here. And what we'll do is we'll search for our triome. Remember this says force, not basic force, force. So we'll just uh, find our little triome. These triomes have changed the game big time because they let us basic land types and let us do things like this. Comes in, it comes to play untapped, but uh, this doesn't require you to come and play tapped. But this requires you to come and play tapped. So let's quickly do a quick shuffle here. So next turn, untap with my three mana on turn three. Let's see what we got again. So usually what I do is I don't play Paradise Mantle unless the last turn I need to play it because it costs free. Um, if you think somebody's got a wheel on you, then you play it early, but I usually keep it in hand uh, so it doesn't get exposed to any uh, destruction spells. So, so for far as we have an island. This is a basic land island, but we also have this... Uh, Triome here. So now we could, uh, we have choices here. Either ramp or cast our commander. I think if we cast our commander, we can do more ramping, um, more copying here, or copying here. So I think the best thing to do is to actually, you know, cast our commander. Uh, cast it quick. This is turn three. Our um, opponents are still developing their board. They might not kill your Calamax. They might care about developing the board instead. So next turn. Do is draw our card. Oh, Soul Ring. That's even better. So, do we have any lands? Do not have any lands. Cast our Parasite Mantle. Tap our uh, island here, Mystic Sanctuary, to cast our Soul Ring. Oh, yeah. Right. So, let's see what's mana. We got five mana. So, what do we want to do? Throw Possibilities and Natural Connection. Be cool, but we need to equip this guy here. So 
I think we just want to use only one instant spell this turn so we can maximize our copying. I think um, ramping is the best choice. So if we tap here to play our signet, um, pay one to equip. Oh, let's pay this one. No, I always try to tap this lane last. Equip. Uh, tap it for a colorless mana, so you have an extra floating. Then we'll tap the forest and the is it signet, so we have one extra mana. And then we'll do natural connection, search our library basic land, but it's gonna get copied because of tap Calamax. Uh, so we'll just search for two basic lands. Uh, this is really color intensive deck, so we have blue, blue, blue. We only have red, red, and green, green, but we have blue and red, so we just need a forest. Oh, right there. And then a, um, a mountain. So it's like, you know, really, really good to double ramp yourself. And the soul ring really helps. So this is essentially turn four and we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. We copied the ramp spell, we got a soul ring. So we're off to a wonderful start. So next turn. Oh, Calamax is 10 mana if you want to count the Paradise Mantle. So that's really, really good. So untap all my lands here. Draw my card, Beast Within. Oh, I can copy that in their turn too. So as you can see, Calmax is pretty cool. Got a lot of ramp in the deck. Um, so again, we can tap Calmax for one mana and copy the next spell. And I think what we want to do is just pump Soul Ring through. Is it Signet? Here, and then we could just do frantic search and untap some lands and see what we get. So I think what we do is just float all our mana here. Um, all six, so we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have all ten mana. We're gonna do frantic search. So let's just resolve the copy first. Draw two, discard two. Uh, remember this is only, only um, uh, board wipe, so I would really keep this hand. So it's hard, I know it's hard to discard, so throw a possibility might go away because copying the explosion part might be even better. Uh, a Manamorphos can go away. Here, untap three lands. I'll draw two. I'll discard two, so oh, we have Palm and Five, so it's I think Palm is cheaper in Beast Within, but Beast Within is better. So let's just let's discard these two cards. So now we filter our hand. We've untapped lands, and then we can let the opponent go. And then on their turn, what we can do is just Beast Within two things because Calmax is tapped. So there we go. And then we still have lots. Of, actually, we have lots of mana on our mana pool. I forgot about that. Let's go back. We actually have, we have 10 mana, spent three. Um, we spent three mana, so we have seven, and then we have the one, two, three, four, five, six untapped. So let's just use all 13 mana here on the explosion side, expanding explosion. So draw nine cards, deal nine damage, so you can kill something and draw nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. And we have not played our land our turn either. So this is great. Look at all these cards we're getting. Play Exotic Orchard. Right here. Tap this. Play our Birds of Paradise. Now we're just living with rich richness here. I have eight cards, nine cards. We got to discard two cards. So yeah, that's basically how the deck plays out. If you can get a strong start, remember ramping early is extremely important. Uh, to get Calamax out, and then you definitely need a tapper. If you don't have a tapper, you, 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 you can attack with Calamax, but it gets a little more difficult if uh, your opponents have, you know, Death Touch creatures or big blockers that can kill Calamax. As always, uh, question to the viewers, do you like having these uh, heavily themed commander decks? Like this is, push you directly into copying instant spells, instant matters. Uh, and if so, what kind of themes do you like? Uh, 
We've had cycling themes like Gabby uh, as part of Commander deck. So it has really cool themes uh, in Commander 2020. If you enjoy the video, definitely push that thumbs up button on this video. And if you enjoy my content and want to support me in the future, smash that subscribe button. And as always, have a wonderful day.